time for another. Am I the asshole? Am I the asshole? Am, Am I? I? I like that. The That's Whitney Houston. The, the intro. Am I? Am I? Will always <laughs> asshole. <laughs> I feel like at this point you should pop out your piano, make a little jingle. <laughs> ah, I'm late. Uh, he he won't do it if he's told. He's gotta feel it. Damn, it's been a while. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so for this Am I the Asshole, it is titled Ada for canceling a wedding my parents are paying for and not fully reimbursing them. Can you say it one more time? Ada? Am I the Asshole? Am I the Asshole? Oh. For canceling a wedding my parents are paying for and not fully reimbursing them. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's stealing, you stupid shit. Holy yeah. shit. I want to hear it first, though, because what if, I don't know. In what circumstance is it okay, in your opinion? I think um, if the couple never wanted to hold a wedding, but the parents insisted, and they're like, oh, I want to hold this wedding for you, and then, like, maybe a disaster happened at the wedding, and, like, the parents felt like the wedding didn't live up to the expectations. But the wedding didn't go now, through. And now are now demanding like, oh, you need to pay us back because we paid for this wedding for <laughs> you. And it's like, yo, we didn't want this wedding uh, in the first place, but you forced it upon us. Mm. And so you went out of your way to pay for it. But so the like, wedding didn't even go through. Because they canceled it. Oh, I don't know. That's also a stretch. I know. That's, that's going to be the... But I mean, like... I thought it was going to be like, hey, we put a deposit. Uh, we spent some money. They're not giving us back. And we can't reimburse you the full amount. Do they want to reimburse bar. anything? I'll tell you guys the story. Here we go. So it says, basically, this is a big fucking mess. Basically? Uh, basically. Okay, my, fian my fiance and I. Fiance. I know. <laughs> That's how you say in Minnesota. My fiance and I. <laughs> what the hell? My mouth. <laughs> Just keep going with okay, it. Okay, okay. My fiance and I were supposed to get married in the spring, but due to the pandemic, we had to postpone. Our venue allowed us to move our date to September for a small fee, and we very naively in retrospect agreed to do it because we thought that things would be back to normal by now mm. obviously they aren't my fiance and i kept going back and forth on what to do and after a lot of tears and debate we decided to cancel the wedding completely and elope we don't think it's the safest idea to have a wedding right now and we don't have the energy to keep postponing and replanning everything oh, and to be completely honest we'd rather have no wedding at all than a wedding with only a quarter of our guests where everyone has to wear masks and social oh, distance. Didn't even think about that. So here's the problem. My parents gave us about $20,000 for the wedding last year, Shit. which we put towards our ma major vendors, including our venue. We should be able to get some partial deposits back, like the photographer and the DJ, which are willing to work with us at least. But our venue is being extremely stubborn and says they won't refund us because our state is allowing weddings at this, this time. We have a consultation with an attorney next week and are going to see what our options are, but I'm not confident we're going to be able to get anything back. My parents had been expecting us to move forward with the rescheduled September wedding, and now that we've canceled, they're super pissed off and, we, and are demanding we reimburse them for the money they gave us. We told them we can give them back the final payments we, didn't ha we hadn't made yet and the refunds we will get, which is about $8,000. But the rest of the money is tied up in the venue and we're unlikely to see it again. We said they need to take this up with the venue, not with us. They won't accept this and insist it's our responsibility to pay them back, even if it has to be through a repayment plan over the next few years. Fiance and I are frustrated because we're trying to do the right thing for our guests' safety and we don't feel we should be financially, financially penalized for it. We feel terrible that my parents are losing so much money, but it isn't our fault that our venue is being so unreasonable and they were the ones who, want, who were insisted on paying in the first place. Am I the asshole? Mm. I, th I don't think you know how to solve a problem. Is yeah. what it is. I don't think they're assholes, but because well, here's the thing. Like, I don't know how their family operates, but in my family, when you give, you give, and you don't expect anything back. You know, and then you try to just do things, and then, mm. and then if you feel bad enough in the future, you surprise them with the twenty grand and you give it back because you didn't go through with it. 
but it's their choice not to go through with it. The venue's being so fucking hard and they're gonna just lose the money. They're choosing the option of just losing the money and not going through with it even if the venue is allowing it. Yeah. Because it's like, you do have the option of just going through and right. you have the money, why don't you just have the wedding? Because they don't have the energy to do it. Right, so they're, mm -hmm. to me, it's almost like, well, okay, you're not getting your picture-perfect wedding and you're not willing to compromise then you need to do your work and go after that money right. and you need to go harder. And you can't tell your yeah. parents to take it up with them. Exactly, that was so disrespectful when yeah. I read that. I was like, the fuck, you were the one who signed the contract. Not your parents, how are they gonna be going up in there? But And yeah. their parents give them options like a payment plan and stuff like that, cause I, I get it. Like, But um, asking for money back from your kids is just a, to me it's a it's weird hard, yeah. thing. Well, I mean- It's I, fucking I, it's weird. It's totally weird, but I could understand, for example, like, um, when my, when my parents wanted to help my sister out when she got married, like my parents don't really have a lot of money, so what they did was they, they refinanced the house for the second time. Oh, you know? wow. Yeah, you know, in order to get somebody just to help with the wedding. So I totally understand yeah. that like, if the wedding still doesn't even, and especially, I don't know what they are, but even for like, let's say like an Asian culture family, like the wedding's really not even for like the people, it's like for like the family. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like, uh, to, to bring the whole family in, fly them from whichever place, and like kind of have this proud moment where it's like, look, I married off my son or my daughter or whatever so I think that there are like variables that might at least be like look the, it's possible to be like hey the wedding didn't happen give me give me give me great that. to have our money back you know what yeah. I'm saying because it might have been from a very strenuous True. place but yeah. I mean again that's my personal experience and my understanding of it but yeah like Joe said they they chose not to go through with the wedding and the, the virus sucks for everybody the virus sucks for the venue even even though the venue is being difficult it's, it's a realistic shit time for a lot of people so it's like you know if if the people who are supposed to be gifted this wedding are like choosing not to have the wedding then it's i think reasonable to like come to a, an agreement with the parents maybe it's not all 20 grand maybe it's it's better than payment plan maybe it's like hey can we get you this and then Hopefully we can not worry about the rest, you know. But like, yeah, it, it totally is not the parents' responsibility to go talk to the venue to get the money back. So. That's yeah. that's the asshole part to me. Fuck yeah, that is an asshole part. That sounds like they're you not got yourself growing up in this yet. mess. Mm -hmm. The person that gifted you the money shouldn't have to deal with the mess that you created. Yeah, exactly. And even if the venue is being hard, you chose this shit venue. You chose to do business with these people. And even if you didn't know what kind of asshole they would be, it's still your responsibility because you chose to do business with someone. It's mm -hmm. like if my parents um, gave me money to do business like and get into a partnership with someone and I create a coffee shop with them and like even though they gave me that money to invest into this coffee shop but this guy's fucking me over, like it's still my job to get that money back or fight for it or whatever. Like it's not them saying like well you invested into it take it up with them like i don't know man it just doesn't seem right yeah what do you think julia yeah i mean i i agree i feel like if it's to the point where i know i can't get that money back from the venue i will and if my parents really need the money back like like for sure for sure they're like demanding it i'll be like let me just set up a payment plan with you because at this point it's gone like it's gone and like if I'm still like going through with the idea that I just want to elope and just have like a small group of friends like that's the choice that we've made right mm -hmm. and it's like yeah. and that's the money that they gave us for a specific purpose but I'm no longer yeah. using that money for that so to me it's just like I'll pay you back that's what I'm thinking yeah because I yeah. think in these people's shoes they're, they're thinking of it as more like well it's out of our hands because the venue won't give it back to us right I think it's still in your hands. Definitely, they can still have the wedding. I yeah, think it's more it's their they choice. They should at least, least not fight for it. at least even pushing it further. I think the mentality yeah. is more of like, well, you gifted me this 20K. Yeah, well, that's yeah. really entitled. Yeah, I think it's more of like, you gifted it to me versus you lent me this money. With the intent of a wedding, yeah. right? So if the wedding didn't happen, then they're, then I think that people have to get to that second solution stage where it's like, if something didn't work out, you can't just keep beating it with what happened in the past. Mm -hmm. All right, no one expected COVID to happen. And then, you, or people probably thought it would clear by September. A lot of people thought that. Mm -hmm. um, it was naive, but a lot of people did think that, right? And then now you're in this predicament, right? How do you move forward where everyone can win? Like no one thinks that way. They go, well, tough luck, buddy. Mm -hmm. You don't do that to family. You don't tell people tough luck. You go, shit. Okay, you want the money back? And it's not really, 
why do you need the money back? If people ask for the money back, then it's like, okay, they're asking for the money back. How do I get it back? Mm -hmm. Instead of saying, I can't get it back. The venue has it. They're not giving it to me. Like, that's some kid shit, in my yeah. opinion. Like, for sure. Well, technically, to be fair, they are the kids. They are the kids, <laughs> but they're adults, yeah. right? And at the, at the same time, you didn't have the money to have a wedding yourself. They gifted yeah. you money. Well, they did write, like, they did make it a point to write that they were the ones who insisted on paying in the first place. Would they be uh, fighting as if a it privilege, was their though. money? Hmm? Would they be fighting if it was their money or would they be kind of pushovers and just be like, ah, oh, fuck, they said no. I think if it was their money, they probably just would have been like, fuck it, and left it. Yeah. It sounds like they're pretty passive. It sounds, sounds like- It sounds like, like also like, yo, like, man the fuck up. Like, take charge and like- Yeah, true. Talk to them, be like, don't just accept that you lost it, you know? That's what I'll do to my kids, that's what my parents did to me, like, like, no, go get your money, like, don't be an idiot. Well, it seems like they're going forward with a lawyer and all that, but it doesn't seem like they want to Fight. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Like it seems like they're tired already. Yeah. yeah if you're gonna make they don't even have a want a wedding. Yeah. If you're gonna make a post and say like, "Am I being an asshole?" type thing, you know what I mean? Because it's like, should I pay my? Pay? You know what I'm saying? It's like you could be figuring out something. If my parents gave me twenty grand, they're like, "Hey, you want a car, right?" I'm like, "Yeah, I need a car." That like, hey, we want to pay for. It. It's like, dude, you don't have to pay for this car. No, no, no. I'm gonna buy your car. Here's twenty grand. And then I go fucking buy a bike. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I come back. They're gonna be like, "Where's the fucking car?" It's like, yeah. no, I didn't buy the car. They give me my money back. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Even if you go, even if it's a gift, even if you go, well, well they're like they're out I of the car. Buy a car, but then they wouldn't give me the money back. So like, I, I reserved the car, but I got a bike instead. And it's like, what? Yeah. It's like you got swindled. You're just like, well, let me place this initial investment, and then all of a sudden it's like, not yeah, because I was trying to be nice. Yeah. Paying for it, and then you fucking swindled my ass. What the fuck? Give yeah. it back to give back to me. It just to me, I think they kind of are. What are, what are people saying? They got labeled as the asshole. Yeah. Yeah, yeah right? They're the asshole. Okay, good. Cause exactly. I, in the beginning, I was like, the parents sound like assholes for being like, you know, wanting a gift back or wanting money back. But then mm. in this, the more I think about it, I'm like. They didn't get the gift or anything yet. They just fucking took the yeah. money. Yeah. This is what one person said. Uh -huh. They said, that money was not an unconditional gift. It was given to you explicitly for a wedding True. at that location. If you chose not to have a wedding, you no longer have any right to that money. True. Mm. Yeah. Have a smaller wedding then, if you don't want to have people fly out. was it, like she didn't want to replan if she were to move the date again? Yeah. She didn't want to have masks, They just felt like overwhelmed and kind of like at the point of I'm over it. Right. Then fucking be over it yeah. and pay your parents back. It's like they want to be over it, but run away from it. Yeah. I don't like that shit. Mm -mm. 